Good evening from the National Weather Service in Paducah. Here's a multimedia briefing for this Sunday, January 14th, 2018. We're going to take a look at snow chances for Martin Luther King Day as a storm system affects the area. Starting off with our first graphic that we're going to take a look at, we have winter weather advisories in effect for the entire region, including southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, southwest Indiana, and western Kentucky. It does extend to the north toward Interstate 70 from St. Louis on into central Illinois and central Indiana as well. There are two segments to this advisory, uh, a northern segment that covers and you can't tell because the color's the same for all counties, but we have one advisory segment that will uh, go through 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, and it is for Southeast Missouri and Southern Illinois. We have a second segment that will run until midnight farther to the south. It includes New Madrid and Mississippi counties in Southeast Missouri, and then extends onto the east and includes Western Kentucky. As far as the evolution of snow through the day on Monday, it will begin early in the morning. By 6 o'clock, the leading edge should be as far south as Perryville, Missouri, along I-55, extending on to the east-northeast to around uh, West Frankfort, and then up to Princeton, Indiana, north of uh, Interstate 64. It will continue to progress south and east through the morning hours, and by noon, it should be, uh, the leading edge should be from Poplar Bluff, Missouri, to about Paducah, and then Madisonville, Kentucky. It will develop over the rest of western Kentucky between noon and about three o'clock in the afternoon. And then flip side, uh, the snow will be tapering off from uh, northwest to southeast through the late day hours and into the evening. Around six o'clock, drier air will spread into southeast Missouri and southern Illinois with snow tapering off in the mid to late afternoon hours there. By six o'clock, the back edge should be from Poplar Bluff to the Shawnee and up to around Evansville, Indiana. By nine o'clock, the back edge of the snow should be as far south and east as say Fulton, up to uh, Benton, Kentucky, and over to Madisonville. The snow should linger until about midnight from, say, Murray and Mayfield over to Hopkinsville, and then between midnight and 3 a.m., it should finally come to an end in this area. So our current snowfall forecast is the following. We have one to two inch amounts over most of the region. Slightly lower amounts are depicted across portions of southeastern Missouri. However, you notice I put in the graphic here higher question mark, and the reason that I have that in there is some of the latest guidance uh, over to my left here on the computer screen. We have two or three models uh, up that are showing uh, liquid equivalent QPF forecasts of around uh, a quarter of an inch. So you take that along with the snow ratios that we expect tomorrow, a little bit concerned that we're not high enough on snow amounts, especially along the I-64 corridor and then again in western Kentucky. Some of the models are slowing uh, the departure of the snows out of western Kentucky just a bit. So uh, we may have to bump up amounts. I, I don't know exactly what the midnight shift will put down, but uh, just looking at some of the data to my left here, uh, we could see some three inch amounts easily and we may be pushing four uh, if these uh, forecasts actually pan out. So the numbers are up just a tad and we'll make adjustments uh, as needed through uh, the midnight shift tonight for uh, uh, the start of the day tomorrow morning. So that's the latest from the National Weather Service here in Paducah. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.